So it's our first morning on board the uh, Riviera. Um, slept in rather late this morning, especially for us. It's most unusual, but I think the bed was so comfortable, just didn't wake up. So we're off now and we're going to the buffet for breakfast today, which will be a real change for us, but let's see what it's like. So we went to the Terrace Cafe for breakfast and unlike these pictures, it was actually jam-packed full. So we had a quick rethink and decided to try breakfast at Waves Grill. This was our view for breakfast as we looked out on the port of La Havre. At Waves, the first thing you do is find a table. Then you order your breakfast and then return to your seat. A few minutes later, our freshly cooked breakfast arrived and in the meantime we had another waiter ask us what we wanted to drink whether we want juices or smoothies or tea or coffee they took your order and then that was delivered to the table as well how civilized for a sort of buffet restaurant while we were finishing our tea for breakfast we also noticed that preparations were going ahead for food to be served later that day so lindsay you've got your coffee what do you think of it it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I could I could sit here all day drinking this. And what about your breakfast that we had at Waves? What did you think of that? Well, as I said when we were sat eating it, I never thought I would eat at a buffet style um, area on a ship mm -hmm. and say I was comfortable. Yeah. Um, it was well. I know that you had to go up and order your food, but then it was brought to you, and the and the lady came across and offered us. Um, drinks and what would you like and, and brought it to us um, and it was just so civilised it was lovely and actually the food was very good um, I wasn't sure about um, the bacon but then it's American bacon and I'm not but over I love it. yeah you love it I'm not overly keen the sausages were very good the, the sauteed potatoes were lush really nice yeah it was very good, good. so just out through the window here we got a little man washing our window very kind of him. Hello and welcome to our first discussion bit yeah. since we arrived on Oceana Riviera and it's just our first impression so it's now what's the time? Um, 10 o'clock in the morning? Just after 10. Yeah on our first day first full day on board and at the moment we're just sort of eyes on stalks everywhere we <laughs> go aren't we? Yeah it it's a job to know where to start really yeah it's really really comfortable it's really oh the staff are so good there's so many staff so I've seen, many staff i've seen it like it um the, the, the attention to detail is amazing yeah um so far the drinks have been fine yes. um the food has been very good yeah uh, the cabin is lovely. Sorry, stateroom is lovely. It just feels so roomy. Really? I Everything's mean, at, roomy. At the moment, I'll just swish you around a bit and show you what's happening at the moment. So we've got an ocean view cabin. And at the moment, there's a little man stood out there hanging on by a thread. Um, a actually, fairly thick thread. A fairly thick thread. But he's cleaning our windows. I've never seen anything quite like this. No. Brilliant. But again, as Lindsay said, it's um, it's attention to detail and, and that's what it seems to be, isn't it? Yeah. It, even when we came into the cabin stateroom <laughs> last night, um, and we weren't terribly late, we were very good last night. Yeah, we were. Um, but th there were, uh, and we will put, put a, a picture in um, yes. here, Yes. but there were little mats on the, on the floor. We're beside not, the bed. We're beside the bed. We're not quite sure why. Um, no. a bit, um, we're a bit uncouth, aren't yes, we? Yes, a bit uncouth. To understand um, but we just sort of came in and, and just, yet again, sort of gobsmacked by it all, really. Yeah. Just, yeah. I've not seen anything like this no. for years. Had so I had my first big O. Big O. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you like the big O, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, we don't know a, whether the big O is, is O for Oceana or whether it's O for oh. Orange. 
No, it's big O. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the strawberry daiquiris. I've never had a strawberry daiquiri with as much alcohol in it before. <laughs> yesterday it was like, oh. yeah. Yes. So it's all been a bit wow and a bit oh. And we've got to remember that um, rather than go and search for things ourselves, we just ask. Yeah. And, and, they, it's done. and they do it for you. It's just, just done. It's just. It's just oh, yeah. I don't know. It's really I good. just hope we don't get used to it because it's, it's going to come hard when we go on a, <laughs> when we go on something else. When we go back, <laughs> I, I think we've just got to remember that this is very special. It is, and that, that we're not going to find this on any other. Yeah, there's there's no class system. No, there's no, no element of that whatsoever. But it's just so easy, so comfortable, so laid back. Mm. Um, everything is done at a slower pace. Mm. Um, it, whatever they're doing, it's done with efficiency, but it's mm. done so that y you almost don't realise that what they're doing. Really excellent, fantastic. As we were in La Havre today and we'd recently visited the port, we spent the rest of the morning wandering around the ship finding where everything was and doing some filming. So Lindsay, you've just had your lunch. And what have you had today and where have you eaten it? Uh, we've eaten the white grill again. Um, and uh, you're able to have surf and turf here cooked to order, uh, which is very well presented. Beautiful chips again. Um, and I really enjoyed the steak. The steak was lovely. Uh, the lobster, well, uh, give or take. I think at next time I will just have um, the steak. And, and I'm sure that there will be a next time. It's very good. And what are you and, washing it down with? Um, uh, a portfolio. Oh, is it nice? It's, uh, it's got a lot of alcohol in it. Oh, has it? Trust you. Well, yeah, Johanna's um, giggled. <laughs> giggled when I ordered it. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, you can see what you're having. Oh, yes. Mm. I, I today, I want the Prosecco. Oh. And very nice it is, too. Mm. It is good. Mm. So I thoroughly enjoyed my lunch today, the surf and turf. Lobster was quite nice and tasty. But I think the thing that made it extra special was the flavour of the tomatoes. It's beef tomatoes and they're normally a little bit tasteless. But they went so well with the filet mignon. Absolutely gorgeous, all washed out with a glass of Prosecco. Wow! <laughs> Hi Jacqueline. Thank you Mrs. Stone. Thank you for closing in Oshania. Oh, Thank you for being with us, just in your vacation to be with us. After lunch we went up to the putting green to try our hand at golf. The hosted event was held every afternoon. We made some good friends up here having a go at this. So after our exploits at the golf fair earlier, where Mauro did a runner. Did a runner, there's too many of us there, yeah, couldn't too cope. Many of us there, couldn't cope. We just had a go at the trivia, haven't we? Yes. And what happened, Lindsay? We got second place. Yeah, thanks to the other members of our team. There oh, were absolutely. Six of us there. Yes. Yeah, it's really good. We were only one point off the lead, weren't we? Yeah. So, well done, everyone. Yes, well done. Keep going. Points mean prizes. Ooh. Where are we now, Lindsay? I think we're in Horizons. Yes. And uh, this is the captain's welcome party. Oh, yes. We think we've missed the captain. Well, he may come back again because it's a two hour party. He may come back because we're here. <laughs> I don't think so. And what have you got to drink? Champagne. Oh, and is that. It's, good. Very, it's good to see off, yes. The captain? Yes, and um, it's quite pleasant actually. Good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That evening we were eating at Red Ginger, which is one of the complimentary specialty dining venues on board. Our booking time was quite late, so we set off to Martini's for some more drinks. Go on, go for it girl. That's quite nice. You need the sugar. You need the sugar to yeah. offset the... Right. Yeah. Okay, this yeah. is on behalf of my father, a flirtini. Cheers. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's quite nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could do them again. It's it's not sweet. No, it's not sweet. It's got a quite a a tart sort of taste to it as well. Almost raspberry. Red Ginger is a Pan-Asian restaurant producing food from Vietnam, Japan 
and Thai cuisine. Everyone who books a cruise on Riviera will be able to book each of the speciality restaurants at least once and depending on which stateroom grade you have it may be more than that. Please do hit the subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up. Well we are now here in Red Ginger we are. but before we got here we stopped for a cocktail. In martinis. In martinis? Yeah. And what did we have? I had a flirtini which is a, a martini but it was it had virtually everything in it <laughs> and it was very nice and it's now taking its effect. It's It was in homage to your dad Yes. as a flirtini. As a flirtini. So what's happened to your head? My head's sort of gone a bit up here. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> And would you have another one? Oh yes, several, <laughs> but not at the same time. And what about the lemon drop, which is the one I had? It's a bit too sharp. I don't think I'll have one of them because I think it would do my stomach no good with my hiatus hernia issues. I think I might have another one. Yeah. Um, because if you drank it through the sugar, it was really good. I'm looking for the pudding one for later. I think we both are. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be uh, having that though. I am. I think you're going to be too full up after maybe, all this food. Maybe, maybe. We'll wait and see. Anyway. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and so to dinner itself. Well, almost. For the beans, and I almost forgot to film them. And what's your verdict on the beans, Lindsay? Well. When you realise you don't have to eat, eat the outer seat. Eat the pods. <laughs> the insides are quite nice. Mm, yeah. Made even better by the salt. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Lindsay started her meal with a variation on spring rolls, while we both shared some prawns. And then I had... Now have the ginger calamari with a little dipping sauce. The calamari is slightly overcooked. Look at the dipping sauce, is fantastic. So this is a Thai beef salad that looks absolutely gorgeous. And the verdict is nice. Mm. I'm surprised it's cold. It's cold. No. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what it's like. So I've just had my Thai beef salad and it was cold, chilled even, which was a little bit of a surprise because when I've had it before it's usually been warm, but it was still gorgeous. I mean the flavour of the sauce was lovely and tasty, but it didn't overpower the beef, it didn't overpower the tomatoes and it didn't overpower the mango. So win-win, um, and I would definitely have it again if I had the opportunity. Well, Lindsay, you've got your miso glazed sea bass, and what do you think of it? Well, for a start, it just falls apart. Falls apart. And the flavours? Really good. Special. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, you're just about to taste your main course. I am. The smell. Which is the smell that I'm getting. Oh my lord. So the smell. This is another beef dish. This is beef. This is beef pen yang something. <laughs> the smell is, I just want to taste it first. I know that you said that smell was amazing when they lifted off the, the, the top of the dish. The beef is very tender. It 
quite a buttery taste. Right. Mm. It's okay. It's not hot and it's not spicy, which I thought it would be. And you've got side dishes as well. I've got like some chapatis here. And you've got rice. And I've got jasmine rice, which mm. I was recommending to go with it. Yeah. Right. Okay. But, mm. Yeah. As a caramel tapioca. Try it, dear. It looks not what, at all what it I was looks expecting. Very, <laughs> looks very strange. Yeah. It? It's cold, I think. Yeah, it will be cold. And the verdict? Okay. Just okay. Uh huh. But not bad. It's fine. Fine. And what are you having, Ken? I have the creme brulee. So, oh, tap. It's a chocolate and lemongrass creme brulee. Ooh. Very nice. Is it? Is yeah. it very good? Um, yeah, that is nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is nice. Well, we're after dinner at Red Ginger. After dinner, yeah. And you've decided to come in for a martini. A martini. And what have you got? And this is a nutty. First one we've had. Well, that's appropriate. Caramel round the outside. Oh, yes. And let's see what it's like. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. This is one that's been recommended that's to us. That's very nice. Is it very good? It's, um, oh yeah, it's just nice. Nutty? Very hazelnut, a bit nutty, but creamy in the Baileys as well. It's similar to a Baileys Alexander. Oh, okay. But it's not. You get the nuts in it as well. Mm, very I'm nice. Saying, I'm saying nothing. It's, it's nice. nice. It's nutty. It's nutty. Yeah, it's nutty. It's nice. <laughs> good. Mm. So, Lindsay's gone for a nutty as well. Let's see what she thinks. It's quite strong, isn't it's it? It's quite strong, yeah, but, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nice pudding. This time has gone for a money penny. Yes, Miss Money Penny. Right, go for it, girl. Oh no, that's not good, is it? Um, that would grow on you. Really? Yeah. Strong one? Uh, yeah, reasonably. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, but it's another one that was recommended, so... Is it enough to make you emotional? I'm not judging. If I had another one, probably. Oh, good. Oh, no, not good. I usually am. Enjoy. And so that brought us to the end of another beautiful day on board Riviera. Good night, and see you soon.